What is icy everybody? My name is Zulin, otherwise known as Poise, and welcome to another Pokemon Sun and Moon tutorial video. Now this tutorial video is going to be how to change the forms and collect the nectar for Oricorio. Now do you know that Oricorio has four different uh, variants to it. it? Has the ghost, they're all flying, so you have electric, ghost, fire, and psychic. So those are the typings. Now well, here we are on the last one. This is actually how to get the last uh, nectar. It was I didn't actually know about it for the longest time. But we're here in Pony Meadow. You're on the fourth and the fourth and final island, and all you have to do is go up to this way to enter uh, Pony Meadows. Now, usually there is a nectar right here. I actually collected it by mistake, so there's usually one right here, and there's only another other spot that you can actually get it, and it is right up here. If you just go a little bit farther, you can collect the purple nectar, which will change it to its purple side, which would be that ghost flying type. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're going to skip on over to actually get probably the next one. I'm going to go with the fire one. Do them in reverse fashion. The hardest one to get and decide to go down to the easiest. So what you do is you want to hop on to Charizard. And you'll have to go over to the route, or actually the third island I should say, to right about... Uh, let me see, I don't remember exactly. It's right here I think. It's right before you actually go into Po Town. It's very, uh, very close to actually Po Town so when you... Before you face Team Skull, you can actually get that before doing that. Now, this one is only accessible. The Purple Nectar was only accessible until you beat the actual game. So, that was the only way to actually get that one because there was a guy that was actually blocking the cave. So, you have to, for the final one, you have to beat the Elite Four to actually get the last one. Now, the other three, you have to, uh, I believe the Yellow yellow Nectar is, like, very early. And then the... Psychic one is very early as well, but this one is a little bit farther in the game itself. As you can see, we have uh, the flowers right here. You got nectar all over the place. I'm going to go ahead and hop off Tauros right now. And you can see the glimmering, no, glimmeringness of the nectar. I can't speak. Wait, wait, there we go. So we got the red nectar now. So we got red and purple to go. I'm going to go ahead and we're going to skip on over to where the... I don't even know. I think it's called the pink nectar, I believe. For the psychic variant of Oricorio, and I'll also change the mods and show them, show you what they look like, because I do have Oricorio in my party right now. Now this one's relatively easy because it is in an actual town. Obviously, it's on the second island, and it is in a town, I believe. Is it in the town? Um, right there. Okay, it's where you would usually do your, where you did your battle royal when you saw the master royal the first time, and you had to face it, Gladian and Hop, Hop, How in the same exact battle statement. So. It's really easy. It's really noticeable as well. I uh, Right here you have the Royal Avenue. So you can see all these flowers right here and such. And then you can see the nectar obviously right there. Very easy to spot out. Definitely. And then we got one left and it is the yellow nectar. And this one is a little bit, I, can, I, I, I guess, kind of hidden. Obviously it's going to be on Malay, Malay Island. And it is right here in Route 3, Meadow Cave. Or I just said it wrong. Uh, Malay Meadow, I believe. That one is very weird. It's very out of out of the uh, ordinary, I would say. Kind of kind of is forgotten about. So next you want to come to the first island and you will fly to Route 3 and then you will head left here to go to Millie Meadow. Now, I just experienced something. I don't know if it's true or not, but when you collect a nectar, if you pre collected it previously, it won't show up again. So, I don't know if that's going to be if that's a thing or not, I guess. I wasn't expecting it to appear, not to appear to me. Alright, now that i found it, it's kind of difficult to see during the day because it won't really appear. Now, I don't know if you collect the nectar and once you do, if it won't regenerate itself. Now, I didn't, I didn't, I couldn't find it on my moon copy, so I had to hop on my sun copy and here it is. You collect your yellow nectar and then I will go on and show you what it is and how to use it and collect and get all the different variants and such all right once you have finally collected all of your nectar make sure that you have ori Corio in your party as you can see i have the yellow one in my party so i'll have to go in the order in which we got them so i will go and use the first one which will be the purple nectar and you have to use it and select your ori Corio. now you can see that it automatically will transfer into its new form and i will go ahead and show you what it actually looks like so we'll go and show us a little typing and whatever and see how it is and what typing it what all right, so now we have its new typing of ghosts and flying. Does not change anything, uh, nothing of its attacks uh, change or anything, but if it does get relevant, relevant dance or something like that, it will change due to its new typing, so obviously it being a ghost type. Now I'm going to go ahead and switch over and 
use the red one to see what it looks like and it get its typing as well it'll be fire flying really cool how they introduce this interesting way to actually get the ori choreo to change its form i really do like that um they did do it with mini or but mini or is just kind of random i've noticed but there we have the red one the red form pretty cool now they do have a little names i don't know them off the top of my head of their form variations but this one is the fire flying obviously being if you got revelation dance it would also be a flying type so really cool i like its pose now let's go over to the pink nectar one now the pink nectar one i do like i have grown to like it a little bit my favorite ones is definitely the purple and the red one are probably my favorite hand down i've seen the shiny for the red one that one's absolutely amazing this one's kind of a hula hula dancer pretty cool i like it as well i the, my least favorite has to be the yellow one i'm not a uh, big fan of the whole cheerleader thing it could have been a little bit better design in my opinion but there we go we got the psychic flying revelation dance being psychic type as well and then last but not least we'll have to use the yellow one to transfer it back to what it actually was which is electric flying now you can capture all of these ori Corios in the wild once you get to their nectar spots they will all be there and you can all capture them as well i did not show that but you can do that in the such so here is the last um one and form being electric flying and then obviously a revelation dance being a electric type so that is how you change all the forms and get the nectar for all the ori Corios. hopefully this tutorial video did help you guys out if it did definitely hit that like button and i will see you guys all next time